You're watching KOCO5. Live, local, late breaking. This is KOCO5 News at 6 o'clock in high definition. It is the bad call controversy that could end Douglas's football season. And now we're in a total waiting game. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jessica Schambach. Paul is off tonight. Douglas spent the day trying to win the right to fight for the state title. KOCO's Morgan Chesky is just outside the courthouse where Morgan, a judge, has delayed things yet again. That's right, Jess, he did. And this has become a question that's now transcended Oklahoma and reached a national stage. Who will play come Friday night, Douglas or Locust Grove? And we'll have to wait a little bit longer. Judge Bernard Jones saying that he'll make his official ruling at 10 a.m. tomorrow. And for three hours this afternoon, this was the video inside the courtroom where both sides presented their case. Members of OSSAA and the Oklahoma City Public School District each arguing two very different points. The school district saying that irreparable harm would be caused to these players involved on the Douglas team if this replay was not uh, if this replay didn't happen simply because college scouts, scholarships could be in the mix and involved if they were to reach a championship game. Meanwhile, the district, uh, meanwhile, OSAA was saying that uh, this precedent that would, could be set by a potential replay uh, could be downright dangerous. I believe that OSSAA and its member schools would be faced with a number of protests in the future and end up potentially in court uh, on a number of occasions. And that would result in delays for other activities. Well, the one thing we hope comes out of it is that, you know, for future endeavors, especially for sports, you put officials on the field that actually know the rules. And the judge's final decision expected to come by 10 a.m. tomorrow. And keep in mind that, in theory, if the decision does not go the way of the district, they could file an appeal to the state Supreme Court. We're live downtown, Morgan Chesky, KOCO 5 News. We'll be there tomorrow. Morgan, thank you. And there's something else that's developing out of the story. The referee who was punched by a fan after the game does plan to press charges. We're told that he's a Tulsa police officer. That fan has been banned from OKCPS events.